Sally from Vintage Discoveries here with some vintage bag haul unbagging. I won't waste any time. I don't want to get to it. This I saw outside the bag, but I didn't know if it had all its beads. It's actually, I guess, not wanting to go in. Because I thought the cabochons were very pretty. Almost looked like it was going to be a scarab, but it's not. Wouldn't be hard to fix. If you just had two pearls, that'd be pretty easy. A little beat up in the back. I don't understand why it's not. It's not even. It doesn't want to go. Well, that's a bummer. R30. I don't know what that is. This is some wooden be beads and a stretchy bracelet carved. I guess you would consider a tribal look or something. I don't know, but it's wood. This is a rose. And I think this is a replica of some famous design, right? Is it something that Tiffany or somebody made famous? not made too bad. doesn't have any holes on the other side for the light to shine through on the stones, but they seem to be all there in there pretty well. This looks more modern. Not seeing a name. It's a cuff bracelet. Um, going to assume that that's supposed to be twisted. Unless this goes under here. No, I guess it's supposed to be twisted for an effect. It's nice, I mean, it would go with anything. is this sonnet sonnet Does it say something on there I think it says USA and I don't know what else that is right there does it say USA I think so oh okay let me get out my thing will this help Oh my goodness, that's dirty. <laughs> How can I see through that? It's not... Okay. It's some kind of symbol. I mean, this doesn't really look dirty when you look at it. But I just... It is. It's been sitting down here forever. Wonder I don't use it. <laughs> I haven't heard of this brand before. Mm, I guess it's old. I'm gonna say it's old. What does it say? Inter interpreter Hong Kong. Spidell USA. Maybe I'll look that one up because I have not heard of Sonnet. It's a big, chunky, let me back up, necklace. I have a lot of um, crickets, if you can hear them. Not bad. Got some pearl sections. It's all plastic though. 
Not very heavy. But it's kind of timeless. I think it would go with anything. I don't know why the light is weird on this. Okay. This is missing its little hook. That shouldn't be hard to fix. This is plastic also. Big faceted black beads. Why my screen looks weird to me. This is pretty. It's got a lot of wear on there. A little safety. But I like the clasp on it. Oh, it would be helpful to take that off. Very worn, but it's nice uh, freshwater pearls. Pretty clasp. Almost like a bow. I like it. This is missing its clasp. Some kind of beads. They look silver or silver plated. Can you hear my husband walking upstairs? Yeah, I guess it's not silver. It might be silver plated. These are cold, no clasp, dirty. Some kind of stone. What do you think they are? Some kind of quartz or something? I don't know. But they're definitely stone. What does that say? Stock. Stocko? Stocko. Hmm. Never heard of Stocko. Is it screw inside here? Snap. Oh. I've never heard of this. Maybe it's some kind of thing like interchangeable where you can put different pendants on there. That's pretty. Reminds me a little bit of um, Judith Ripka. Problem with this, you couldn't size it. So it's probably like a 16. I'm sure you can get different lengths. I've never, what the heck? I've never heard of Stocko. I'll have to look that up too. Before. Interesting. I like seeing names I've never seen before. Oh, no, oh, no, no, don't. Sometimes it gets lost in the abyss over there. I have a mess crawling up towards me. Piece of acrylic. some rhinestones on some fabric. Maybe this was part of a, some kind of outfit, possibly. These would be good to craft with. Bamboo. I wonder how they bend this. Maybe they heat it or wet it or something. I wonder how old it is too. Seems like it's older. Some cloisonne, a very thin one, but pretty. A little ring, how cute. A little fake pink stone. That's cute. Hmm, 
This is, reminds me of the metal or the stuff from Germany. I think it's just, I don't think that's a name. I think it's just got some bubbles. It's super duper like featherweight light. Super light. Let's see if the other one's in here. Oh, look at that. It's a shame this is so cruddy and bad shape. Because that's kind of cool. So, this is a big brass or copper cuff. I don't see any names in it. I don't know if it would fit me. I don't even know how you'd get this thing on. It looks like it'd be painful. I mean, it doesn't really stretch. It's got some damage. Kind of cool. This is also a piece of acrylic. I guess it was some kind of necklace. Definitely plastic. I've seen before. I don't know. I don't think they're rings. I think they're for maybe scarves. Butterfly. Oh, she's a little crooked. Butterfly. With that little sparkly enamel. Sparkly. I had one of these before, but it was in much better shape. This is missing some stones, missing the other pearl. That's a shame, but I do have one that is in much better shape than that. The big fancy earring. No name that I can see. Cool. I do see the other one here. Those are big, big dangles, but they're nice. I like them. Like New Year's Eve kind of earrings, right? Oh, this is pretty. Let's see if it closes. Got a very long pin, which indicates that it is probably older. I think those might be jade. Looks like jade to me. Very pretty. It's simple, but it's pretty. I like that. I've seen a lot of giraffes. Here is a chain. Not bad if I cleaned it up heavy. Holocaust Memorial Museum charter member. Oh, wow. Wow, that's cool. Oh man. Here we have uh, Asian design. A little bit of green going on there. Pretty. I don't know what kind of plant that would be. And some writing that I don't know. Cool though. I like the enameling. This is broken and they are in bad shape. Here comes the giraffes. Lots and lots of giraffes. Just got a hook clasp here. Let's see if we can take a look. Wow, a lot of wooden giraffes. And unfortunately, this kind of wood picks up a lot of smells and it's kind of musty. I could not sell that. Unless somebody had to have to have to have it, have to have it. <laughs> Absolutely had to have it. And I would have to say, hey, it's a little musty smelling. 
Yeah, a little musty smelling. I don't know. I think it's the wood that maybe absorbs that. Here is the other earring that's super lightweight. These you probably wouldn't even feel on your ears. Here's something that's... Oh, it's this. It's an old Timex. And the rubber here is so old that it's just coming apart. Ugh. A nice little clasp. I don't see any markings. A lot of times these are silver, but I'm not seeing anything on here. It's good for crafting. Oh, that's dirty. Um, went to the antique mall. I did pick up a few things there that I saw. Um, as far as jewelry goes, I got this. Oh, on the big side, fits this ring, which I think looks nice because it, it comes down. And has a little rhinestone in here. And to my surprise, I didn't know that it was, I knew it was silver, but I did not know that it was, wait for it, <laughs> it's here somewhere. Oh, Avon, yeah. Avon, I know they make silver jewelry once in a while, but I didn't know that this was Avon. But it's very pretty. I was happy with that. And then this sterling ring that I don't know what kind of stone it is. I guess it's some kind of treated stone. It's not like Aurora Borealis, how that has kind of um, applied like paint to it to, to show through a color. This one is just all color. It's mem mesmerizing. It's not it's not exactly rainbow, but it is, but it's got this blue light in it. It's really, really cool. I just love it. I would love many things with this stone. I'm assuming it's glass. I really don't know. I don't know what it says in there. KH something. It's too muddled together. It says 925, but I don't know what that is. I need a microscope for that. If anybody can figure that out, I know you guys are good at that, but I cannot. But look, what you're seeing, that electric blue is actually what it is. It's really cool. It's not just on the screen it's actually that electric blue like it's almost got a light in it really cool and then i stumbled upon this just sitting on a shelf i was like uh i've been looking for you this is sarah coventry and it's the coffee and cream i saw it in my book and i said oh man i will never find one of those and I did. So I was super duper happy. Because it gives that look. This is all plastic. But it gives that look of like the amber or the like the root beer. It's so cool. I love it. It's missing the sticker. It would have a sticker here. But that's okay. I know that it's the recovery tree. And I will show you in my book. I'll show you the front of the book. This is... Um, the book here, I'm a little hard, this one, that's the one I have, let's open it up, oh, okay, here it is, coffee and cream, this is the one, and it should have had a sticker inside, but it's gone, but that's okay, like I said, now, these on the same page i just happen to love this one especially this goes for a lot of money i've seen it's um it's really really nice i haven't seen it in the wild and it's uh pretty pricey on ebay and etsy haven't seen many of these um but this oof, i'd love to find that one also 
There's another one I'd like to find. This is all the kids' stuff. I think it was a 131. Skipped it. There's so many things in this book where it's like, really? Sarah Coventry made that? It's so nice. Not that it's not nice. I'm just saying, like, it's it's not their, when they go out of their normal style. You know, if I would have seen some of this without knowing, I would think, hmm, I am surprised. Like, for instance, the little, the little charms that they have here. Looks like a partridge in a pear tree. And this one, I think, is um, the star. I can't think of what I'm trying to think of, but, I mean, adorable. If I would have found that, or I might. Of course, I can't find the one I'm looking for now. That's okay. You know why? Because I'm trying to turn pages and they're sticking together. Don't you hate when they skip pages? Like, they, they're they not skipping pages, but they skip the number. It doesn't take much to confuse me. Come on. But anyway, there's one I didn't really like to find. I found a lot of these number um, letters. Um, a lot of people find them. And I'm sure some people have the full alphabet or even close to it. I don't. I have a couple, but that's it. I mean, look at this. I mean, I've never seen that. I've never run across this. Turnabout. That's cute. Now, yeah. 1975. Of course I can't find it. But, does anybody else have any good books? There's a bunch of different books I want to get. Maybe someday. I keep looking in savers in the book section. That's a good place to pick them up because, I mean, I've got these from Amazon. Um, I've got glass books, too, about glass. And, you know, sometimes you run across them in uh, the Goodwill, things like that. Just keep on looking. Trying to find that one thing I was going to show you guys. And I could swear it was on one page. Oh, here it is. There it is. Not that. This. Well, I have this, but I try to kind of make a mark, which I shouldn't do if I wanted to sell the book again. But, you know, I also have books that have marks all on in them, and that's fine. This, I have never run across, and I don't know the name of it. Uh, that's the Remembrance one. Royal Scepter. Cool. Have you ever seen the Royal Scepter? And look at that. Masterpiece. They have the Mona Lisa. Wow. I do have this one. That's the uh, Bold Gypsy. In my favorite color, orange. Neato. Well, I'm going to go, guys. Thanks for joining me. And I hope you enjoyed that. I did. And I could look through this book all night. So, but if you'd like to look at more books, I have plenty. And I wanted to do a glass thing. Because I'm getting some pretty cool glass. Uh, some art glass and stuff. And um, I do have the books. And... It's pretty cool when you can look them up and find them. And I have a big mess here that I need to go through. So that might take a couple days. If you want a sneak peek of what's been hiding behind my camera. Oh boy. Yeah, lots to clean up. All right, guys. Have a great night. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.